Would a thing that money could buy, the rich would have live and the poor would have die. Exactly. You know that song? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, man, but, you know, it's not about money, it's about comfort. You know, mm -hmm. it's about yes. comfort. My brother, let me tell you something. I praise God every day. Mm. And when I say I praise God every day, I praise God every day. I don't take one minute a week for granted. Mm. See, the facts I can sit here with you today and talking to you. You know, you could have been somewhere now talking about why, you know, one time, why I go up a bunny and why we have a good shot and look about the gun. Mm, mm, but you know mm. something, God? Here we are, still here talk. You, 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 you're absolutely right, because if you look at it right now, you know, the people that we grew up with mm -hmm. as the elders, the, most of them are passed off. We are the elders now. Mm -hmm. We are yeah. the ones that, that left behind. Yes. Because I can't see that many people of, of the generation before us was still alive in Jamaica, not exactly. many, not many. Right, if, if, if you was to take back from Bethel, mm. you know how our days grew up as a child growing up, if you was to take back from our days as a child growing up, say, say you go, go back from here, a 10 year old, mm. who you can remember from Bethel to up where you come from, or even farther on from you. Oh my God. Tell me how much people you can remember right now as adults that are alive. I can only I can, I, can, I can only I can only remember I think of one person. One. My sister Yuna, the only person I know that she's still alive. Right. I can't I can't think of anybody else. As adult. As adult from growing up, I can't think of anybody. Growing up. Yeah. From a child growing up from back from the age of ten. The, I can't you see, I just said sister Yuna. Is the the one I know. There's no one there's no one else. Yeah. There's no one else. Henry's mom is still alive. Yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Miss Gwen is still alive. Yeah. So. Yeah. And answers. Oh yes. Answers. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. But I can't, I can't think yeah. So what do you think about it? Yeah. As adult, growing up, Mas Rani. You Mas Rani still alive? Yeah. 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 So yeah. So it's um. So far, Sayona. Answers. Sagwene. Mr. Labar still alive? Mr. Yeah. 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 So so far. Yeah, I'm talking about people that would actually live up there. Yeah. Me, I think the future is still alive as well. I can't I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, yeah, we, we lose contact. We, we lose contact with people. We lose contact with people. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think, I think um, she's still alive. Miss yeah. Uchari Dan. So if we were so, so, so I'm not 100% sure still, so, but mm -hmm. I think Miss Uchari Dan is still alive. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. If anybody know about this one, I'm not sure if Miss Uchar and Dan passed away, but put it in the comment section. Yeah. So these are the names that we can remember that are alive. Is um, mm. so, um, so you wanna, so, um, sorry. Miss Gwenny, yeah. Miss Gwenny, Miss Gwenny. So you wanna, um. Oh yes, and um, what's her name, man? Ah, Sperry, what, this one again? Sister Madge. Yeah. Yeah, Sister Madge, yeah. My sister Madge alive as well. Yeah. yeah. So there's, there's still a few people, there's still, there's there's still a few, few people. people still alive, man. But you know, but again, if you there go, were the younger ones of the older ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But the yeah. whole, the older people, them like, they, they are all gone, man. They are all gone. Like you know, the famous man like called Dandy. Dandy, mass <laughs> fed, mass fed. Mr. the chef himself. Yeah, man, Dandy. Dandy. cook a good soup. Oh, man. listen, man. Dandy, I can talk story about Dandy because I used to go bush work with Dandy. Yeah. I used to go bush work with Dandy. And I remember Dandy always said to you, Man, when you come in a bush, make sure you walk with pocket food. <laughs> because you never know. You never know what's gonna happen on the road. The, 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 the food can be come and it fall and it dash away. Or the food can be late. <laughs> yeah, sir, and you're hungry. Backup. So have some backup, carry pocket food. <laughs> Dandy, man. Yeah man. And the man will take man will one bird in the blood. Mm. Man will take one bird, you know, and shave it 20 people, you know. Yeah, man. Man cut up one bird and everybody get a little. You know how small it is, you know. It was a good cook, man. Dandy. It was a good cook. Yeah, man, we used to love work with Dandy. But this, this is another one. I remember going to cabbage hill one time and go work with Mass Ronnie. Yeah. Who was plowing land. Going to cabbage hill before you go around to where um, yeah, on the top side here. Yeah. Go around there, plow land the day, you know. And I tell you, I plow, plow, yeah, we are plowing land. 
I said, Lord, a piece of belly you take me now, Lord. Mm. A piece of belly you take me now. That day, my belly hurt, my belly hurt, my belly hurt, my belly hurt. I think, what is this? And Master Ronnie said to me, jump over the pastor. The guava tree there, pick out a piece of the guava bud. From the pint, you know, the pint of the guava tree. Mm -hmm. Pick out a piece of the bud with about 12 young leaves, now that mm -hmm. tree, young leaves. And come back. And go over there, climb over there, pick out two pieces of the guava bud. And come back over. Master Ronnie said, try it up in your mouth. He said, try it up in your mouth. My fans are going to listen to this. You know, they are Jamaica. You know, probably have known this. You know, they are Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Yeah? He said, try it up. And when you're done, swallow the juice. Not the trash, swallow the juice. Mm -hmm. Crow, I'm telling you, my fans, if you're not listening to this, you know, they are Jamaica. Remember this. Remember this. Remember this. I try up this guava leaf. Guava leaf. Better. And I swallowed that juice and I spit out the trash. Bro, less than five minutes, be that belly pain disappear. Remedy, I don't even know if I need burp or anything. But me say, that belly pain disappear. Mm. Yeah. Mm. If me tell anybody that so that remedy work, me know that one they work. You don't have to boil it, you don't have to do nothing with it. You just Pick that guava bush. Take out that pint too like the young leaves night. Mm. And put about six eyes, six leaves in the trowel. And I just swallow that and spit out the trash. That's it. And that was it. That belly pain left me and gone. Wow. And I show people that Jamaica right now as children they know about them something. Yeah, but you know, the more you grow. Everybody gone to the doctor and gone to the pharmacy. Yes. The, 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 um, the herbalist. The herbalist like I don't know. I, I mean, I'm extremely sick because I really don't know. But you see this? People should resolve back to the, the natural herbs. You see this? Herbs, you see my finger yesterday? Mm -hmm. You see that? Right. One day I'm going to back and go to a weed, grass down there. And weed, and the, there's a whisk go up on the mango tree over my head. Mm -hmm. My shade, well sharp, right up to the hunger, well sharp. Grow, me lift me on like this. I take the machine, I'm going to cut the waist. And I peel my finger from the other Peel my finger from the other all the way off of the nail. Ah, oh, That was something bloody painful. I say, I go up my go to cut the waist in the blood. And me know what the hook from the handle. Take my knife from the other and peel my finger, you know. Mm. Let me tell you something, boss. The only thing I could do is just rush to a banana tree and tear a piece of the rotten mm. thing from the strong come down like this and I ban that ban it with it and then I get some um, the string mm. and wrap it with the string tie and tie it I will believe me can't carry and work it with it one other time again I down there again I work serious crew and I tell you I go through something like you now I said I down there I work and I trap like some machine well, wow. <laughs> the machine shot me right in on my foot face, course, see, see the mark there. Mm. Woof it. I remember, you know, a bone this, you know. Mm. That's mm. a bone. Mm. And the machine. And, you, and you, you, when you chip your bone, it's even worse, you know. The, the, the flesh will heal, but the bone will <laughs> take longer. Man. Well, next time again, I have a bush and I have a far from my shoulder. And I have a hunger. I have a water boot. And for some reason, my hand slip off of the fork and grow. And the fork. Right in the You're a walking disaster, <laughs> man. <laughs> you're the cabbage patch, man. Uh, you got to look at the same. You're walking with the fork. You know, we can fork back yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. Have the fork on my shoulder. Yeah. I'm a holy hunger. And my hand slip off. For some reason, I don't know how my hand slip off of the fork and grow. But the fork drop. And it go right through the water boot and go right in the back of my foot. I think if you don't shoot the marks, you'll see where. Yeah, we can't see it, man. Right in, in there. Mm. No, I don't want to. Okay. I don't want to. See the mark there? Oh, yes, you can see it now. See the mark there? That's a big scar, man. <laughs> That's a big scar. Right. And one other time again, I live on my Mount Vernon. I live on my Mount Vernon. And I have this hacks. 
I mean, I split up the wood and crew the axe backs off of the wood. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> man, instead of go chop the wood, the axe backs off. Oh. So instead of going in, it's it's yeah, crew the axe come on again. You know, the chop, you know, Jesus. he come around to me one lick. I, because it's like when it backs, it turn up like this. Mm. Like if you go down and it chop like this, so it backs it off. Mm. So it's like when it backs it, it turn up. Okay. So it will chop me, slap me. Yeah. I see 199 blinky. Stars, man. And when you look at it, and see some, I'm going to get chopped enough, because I'm going to get chopped enough. But by the time we managed to look down, I'm going to say, no blood, no blood, no blood, no blood. God. Man. That's it, man. I think one of those things that I'm. One thing I'm in Jamaica, and um, I know of it, and I remember being out in hospital, but I cannot remember nothing from the start. But I come from school in Mount Vernon, we drop off a mango tree. <laughs> they say, I can't, I can't remember going. I put it this way. There's a good part of my of my life. That is total memory that's totally obliterated from my mind. I cannot remember going to school that day. I can't remember climbing that mango tree. I cannot remember nothing about it. The only thing I can remember, right, about about that situation, it was like, um, is being at home, each home. I remember my mama. God, man, I love that woman so much. I think I remember her passing. It being so much. It makes me feel emotional mm. because she was a really good, good person. Right? I kind of can remember about that because my mama asked me if I want to bother and she does. That's all I can remember. And, the, and, the other, the, 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 and after that, the only thing I can remember after that, right, it was the ambulance siren because. By the time they took me home, right, I was not conscious. I was unconscious from mm -hmm. Donna Mon Mon Vernon. I don't know how I got home. I don't know who took me home. I can remember lying in the bed in our room, and then Mama asked me a question. And then after, after that, I can hear the, the ambulance mm -hmm. going. And after that, I remember nothing. And um, maybe days or whatever after, I woke up in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And um, at the time, you know, I was just like a rock. So how did you get home then? Frank? I don't know. Somebody took me home. They lift me and took me home. But I don't know how I got home. I can't remember. As I said, that memory is totally obliterated from my mind. I cannot remember nothing about it. I can't remember going to school. I can't remember because what they what, what they said, right, was that um, it was mangoes to start to come in. Mm. And one pretty mango was up on the top of the tree. So me and Valley, Mark Lan, that Valley was the big boy mm -hmm. then. It was the older one. Me and him really stick with the tree because I was the I was I was a very sort of um, mischievous but responsible in the sense mm -hmm. that I, I I I was able I was forward for my age, right? And um what was it running up this tree and they said I must have hold on for a dry limb no, no, and no. fell on and, and and every time I pass, remember passing in that river fell off the mango tree, there's a big vein, the mango tree vein that comes out of the earth. Oh. And they said that's where I fell on. Fell and drop on. And drop on. And as I said, I cannot remember anything. I, there's a lot of memories that totally obliterated mm. my mind about school day, school. Even some, some things that happened before mm. and some things that <coughs> I just cannot, I just cannot remember it. But... The next, the next time I, I woke up was in the hospital, mm. and then when I woke up, <laughs> I see Papa standing over me, <laughs> and Papa standing over me means that I'm in trouble, okay. right, from back in the day. So when we wake up now, I'm totally disorientated, totally staggering, I'm looking at me, see Papa, the first thing he started to do is to run, to, want to get, want to run, because he's a Papa going to beat me. <laughs> <laughs> this, beat, this beating thing, I'm going to really right? scared, because... The same, yeah. the same thing, mango tree thing. Yeah. I'm coming from school one evening. When probably I come up the evening, and this man called Papi Spence, you know, Papi Spence, Spence. He, he used to have one shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And right outside of the shop, I have a mango tree at the, at the gate. And below the mango tree, I have some banana and things planted underneath it. So this mango tree, I want some nice mango on it, man. So we decided we climb the Papi Spence mango tree. Yeah. So who climb the tree? Me climb the tree. I pick mango, I throw them to the boy them. 
No, that man. Was it a beef mango that you do there? No, no, it's a common mango. Was it? It's a common okay. mango, man. You have the calbot. Yeah, when you go into the calbot, yeah. it's your left hand side and mango through your right hand side. Yeah. So if you go into the shop, the mango is through it by your left hand side. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, Papi used to raise cow. I never think called cow lash. Yeah, man. But this man used to use cow lash and go, <laughs> Play! Play! Like in a cowboy film. Yeah, yeah. So that day, man, the boy had him. I can't remember what he did there. But it was for a few of us. So them say Papi I come now and everybody run. I'll leave you. Leave me at the tree. <laughs> so that day you now, Papi come on and eat the mango tree. And he said, come down. And he had this cow lash in my hand. All is going through my head. If I come down and this man use that because at the point of it it have something like leather and the pint for me yeah, yeah, yeah. the sound. And he used it to drive the cow yeah. yeah. So all I'm hearing, if I come down. This man gonna wash me with this thing. <laughs> and I don't wanna get lashed with this cow lash. You can't sleep there. <laughs> and I can't sleep on this mango tree. So I come down lower. But where me is me think, if you flash it like that, it don't catch me. Kuro, I look out. Like when Lady Lily don't about her name is Maitland or Mave, whatever she is. What's her name again? Anyway, she lives at the house, look yeah. a little bit lower. Anyway, Miss Kennedy. Miss okay. Kennedy, yeah, she was a teacher at Bedell School. Oh, yes. So, anyway, we oh, yes. decided to say, all right, what I go do? It's one limb. I go jump and catch the limb and swing out and jump up and run left him. Cool. You see me head for the limb and chuck and miss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Cool. When I see the limb and Tight for the limb mm. and chuck for the limb. Cause my whole idea is to catch the limb, swing out, yeah. jump off, and run. And then run. Bro, I miss the limb. And I end up down in the bush. I broke my hand. <laughs> oh um, man, the things that we did when I we were young, man. Broke my hand. Oh my god. The same man. I forgot to take me up from down there. <laughs> So me have to go to school with me and my hand in a plaster. Oh my god. You know, yeah, man. you know something? I must say, no. You know how our days growing up, Jamaica was different from now. Even if we could district because <sighs> no. If you are sent a mass no and you take sick, there's no ambulance. Okay. None whatsoever. If you are sick, for me, for this, 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 this is this is what I've, I, I, I've said consistently. How a part of the world, right? yeah. them start to do something about it now. But how apart from when I was growing up, going like going like, you know, to school and all that type of something there. Saint Thomas, all part of the world, has gone back like fifty years. Yes. Imagine, look back, look back in our days. God, Cedar Valley was like a town. Cedar Valley was the hub. Yes. We had the, the courthouse, and every, every last Friday of the month, our first Friday yes. of the month, you got the Mayan factory. Yes. My God, man. See, the valley was oh the king. Oh, my God. It, it, was, it, was, it was the harbor. You know? If you got, if, I mean, I can remember, I can remember as a child, you know, growing up and all them, the whole the ones, the one above us, like oh, my cousin Ronald and all them lot. And when them, everybody got a town and holiday time, everybody come back country mm. and they dance out of Cedar Valley, up a, up a, up a, up a center, center and up a Murray Lawn. Up a village gate. What did I call it? Kunupek? Kunupek? I don't think, I don't think in my time they had it. You Kunupek, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Done before I left there. Yeah. But uh, Mana, what they call Manawa, it? Yeah, Manawa, yeah, yeah. But Manawa, mm. Manawa, 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 what was in my days? Yeah. But in those yeah, days, man, Cedar Valley, Valley was the harbor. Yeah. Everybody from, from Richmond, Trinityville. Hi, everybody, everybody come up. Everybody come up, man. Several was like it was yeah. the center of center. attraction. Mm -hmm. Then you got you got um do of a butcher shop over there, yes, sir. Yes. You got the um, Sissy Fry Fitter. Miss Sissy Fry Fitter. Ken Murray La Ken Murray over the other supermarket over the other side. Lord of mercy, man. Oh Baba Light Bar over the top. Oh my the middle, god. See that was like a town, man. The town, was man. Like a town. When, when when you go back they want to see how it's been neglected because since ever since um um was it um was there a kid in my but again, um, it's not even it's not even COVID because it's no man, it's before, before COVID. It was from the the army. What the army came in again? Can't remember that one before COVID. What, what, what um, it's, by the way, that big army came then. Mm. The commanders mash up the place. They haven't fixed it. Mm. You know, politician come, politician go. Everybody yeah. just make big promises about um, about um, about doing something to 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 to, to the area. But uh, you know, 
I know I know it's slow, very mm -hmm. tedious, slow and all that type of stuff. But at least something is they try to do yeah, something. At now. least now you know, you know me can see the road work because yeah. them asphalt the road you now and yeah. um, up a several them are mall it come down the road, yeah. you know. And the the market the development yeah, gotta be another something to send them as you mean out, out a good year. Good year. Good year. Yeah, yeah, they they start, they start start out there. yeah, they start digging. So the, the, the funniest part of it, right? When I watch the YouTube and um and um with the Prime Minister going, Yes, and that um People, in, people in, in St. Thomas crying out for a KFC, for KFC mm, shop. Mm, mm. Bloody hell. <laughs> KFC shop. KFC. Well, you know what? That's what they like. But mm. when, when we come to, when we, I mean, when we, you cannot compare KFC to jerk chickens. Of course. Let me tell you something. Takeaway is not, is not my company. Gilbert. Gilbert. Hurricane Gilbert. 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 Yeah, Hurricane Gilbert. Yeah, man. Jesus Christ. I tell you. That, you know when Gilbert come? You know where I was living? Mm. I was living in Kingston. I have a view. Yeah. If Hurricane Gilbert they come in at night, let me tell you something. Well, put them body. A lot of people are dead. When Nick Hurricane Gilbert come, I live a half of you up on the hill. Mm. Yeah? And I said, when you go to Rockford, some house at Rockford, tree drop in the house right across the bed like this. Right across the bed out of Rockford. So, some people house up where we live, concrete house. Mm. The roof, everything just mm. lift mm. on the pure concrete structure. Total destruction. I wonder how them put on it, their roof up on them house because for the wind come on there and take, take up it the lumber, everything, zinc, everything just lift off right and left. Pure concrete structure like this is that. Stand up. Wow. And you know what happened? God so good. Then time they look, you know, I live in a I live in a one girl. Like a shack. One little shack for me dig wall yeah. and plant the post them yeah. and find the throne. Yeah. And a cardboard barrel me, me cut out and put on the floor. For me, for me, um, floor flooring. In, flooring board. Yeah. We have good bed to sleep and everything. But believe me, this is what we was living in, yeah. in Kingston. And on top of the roof, Gilbert coming too lot. Mm. Gilbert coming too lot and coming in the middle of the day. When Hurricane come, me, me shut the door mm. and me put two nail in it. Mm. And when the first breeze come, the breeze pop the door open and take out half a sheet of zinc off of the roof. And we go cross the road and that guy named him Lucky was building a house cross and we go over there and take about 10 in concrete block and can't go put on top of the roof. Mm. I tell you when the hurricane Gilbert come again boy. No, at the back of it, I have to go and take some force. Like you know that like, whoop. We put two of them stick like this and reboost the back of the building. So when the wind comes, it helps to hold it. And let me say something, Hurricane Gilbert come and pass and the only thing happened to that little Stick something when we live in a when we plant in a ground. Mm. It's a half a sheet as they come out and the wind the first set of wind slide you open. I don't know your side, man. Yeah? I and everybody up around there, most of the house around there, either blow down or the roof them blow off. Yeah. Just with you, man. My liquid my liquid something, dirt floor, cardboard barrel, dirt floor. Oh the half a sheet as they come out. So since I mean, this when you want to send us right. I, I sometimes when you want to send us right. Without something, without the mechanical center, it is so upsetting, right? It is so upsetting mm -hmm. to a certain situation, right? Yeah, man. You remember, we used to go our Cedar Valley River, used to be a big river because I lived in you know, them take the water from St. Thomas and take the Kingston, you know. Mm. We know that so, so, for me, St. Thomas is, is, is the forgotten parish of Jamaica. We're totally neglected, and we look at it, you know, where we're located, we're at the end of mm. the of the island, you know, right? We got. Good places for beaches, hotels, mm. and stuff like that. But no, politicians. I want to pray to God, like all them doing this now, the country will lift back their head up. I know they're not gonna put the court out up here. The, but but the, 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 the point is, the point is right. If you look in Saint Thomas in generally, right, you go to Yalas, the little place where they have at courthouse. We have still have the best facilities mm. to, to to have a court for, for court mm. situation in in Saint Thomas. See the valley. Yeah. All you have to do invest in the road infrastructure. You got the post office. Oh man. No, a post office at Cedar Valley. That should never lock down. That I should you. That's what I'm saying. They've gone backwards, yeah. man. A post office where they did from decades. That should keep up. A L Center. L Center. That should Jesus. In my days, that L Center was the top of the top of the talk. In my day. You have two doctors or three doctors there. Remember Dr. Lampard? Yeah. 
That Kalampan in used to have an office there and an office amount there. Yeah. So I think he used to be there for one or two days a week, Dr. Lampard used to come there. But they had a doctor used to be there as well. You have nurses. You always get looked after, man. Yeah. Look at that now. And the next thing again, we used to have Tani, telegram man. I don't know if you remember Tani. Tani was a telegram man. Yeah. Anytime you see Tani, Tani come among us. Bad news. Bad news. Bad news. Yeah. If we just a normal letter come for you, you got post up, you go collect that. But anytime you see this man come up the road, is he that dead, sick, some from an emergency? From, from, from abroad. Yes, from yeah. yeah. Or somebody get um, a telegram for a farm work or something like, that. something like them there. Yeah. Tanny used to come and deliver. Yeah. So anytime you see, remember a lot of people by name, but I can't put yeah. their face to it. Anytime you see this man come up the hill, you know, say something. You know, say at some telegram, whether like dead news or some something emergency. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah man. Yeah man. Yeah, but as I said, it's good to see that something is being done at, for once. Yeah man, I'm happy. I'm yeah. really and truly happy to see what's taking place in yeah. Centre Matter right now. And and I, it, I, it's, it's like everybody, you know, like a lot of people, not everybody, but some people, everybody just sit down and just and, and blaming and saying government not do this mm. and government not do this. And what they must remember, you know, fundamentally what they must remember, Jamaica do not have, we do not have oil, we do not have a, a, a large gold reserve, mm. right? But most thing that we that rely on is tourism. Yeah, yeah. Right? And everybody everybody expects this government and they don't realise, right? So not all of them. Some people don't realise that. For every dollar that the Jamaican government print that is not accountable in foreign exchange, mm. the, the Jamaican currency they value even more they have to pay more for their goods than right. the shop. Right? And everybody else said the boy. One thing I say about Jamaica right now, and I, I won't, I won't put my mother on talk. I even done a video about it. Mm -hmm. They said the government need to do more yeah. about this killing and raping yeah. and things that going on in Jamaica. The yeah. Jamaican government need to do more. It's about not, but it's basically, you see, you, what, what, what I just need must remember, you know, buddy, crime is not just a government problem. Crime incorporates every Jamaican. Right? Because there's a lot of Jamaicans who out there know exactly where these criminals yes. are, are staying. They know yes. where they are. But you know what my point is? Right? You know what my point is? There's a video on the channel somewhere there that I am. Um, I, there was a guy named, um, oh God, what's his name again? Something on something TV. Mm -hmm. My Views TV. Okay. You know, oh, yeah, watch yeah, my watch view. it. Watch it. Yeah. Yeah. And, my view says something, and I tell you something. I, I, when when that man taught me laugh, when it, my view taught me laugh, but you know something, I agree with him. Yeah. The crime and the violence that we have in Jamaica, if the government put down some strong alarm, I mean, no one know him alone. Yeah, there's people behind him. But you know me say, if you catch a man with a gun, yeah, if life you know, in prison, man. If you don't even kill nobody, life in prison. Well, I, I mean, never say life. You say life. But me say, if you catch a man with a gun, yeah, give him five years. No if, man, more. They, 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 they got to make it more, yeah. more. Me say, me say, if you catch a man with a gun, and you know if you use it, give him five years. If he, if he use it in any way, give him ten years. If he kill somebody, give him life. He never come back out the road. And you know, if them, if them, this is what me put on the channel. Me say, if things like this happen, other gunman will think different, and other people. But this, 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 this I, I think that I think that the law itself, there's a lot of stuff in Jamaica that, that need. To reform right and you, you find this um, I mean you, you find like for instance like people commit some heinous crimes as long as they they don't they admit to it and go and don't go through the court mm -hmm. system they 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 they, 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 got, they the law is become more lenient yeah, yeah, to these yeah. sentences mm -hmm. rubbish man absolutely rubbish you know you know why we feel like this there's somebody the other day who was um in, they arrest them for some crime, whatever it is, and in get bail. And mm -hmm. same person go kill somebody. But, but how, how, how can you bail a man who's out for murder? I don't understand how you can. Have, I don't because they don't have, 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 have enough proof. I spoke to someone, right? I was spoke to, I spoke to someone, right? And I remember I was at a location and there was a conversation that came up, and one of the person said to me, um, Oh boy. And a murder charge, you know. I mean, the public said, and the court said, I didn't say anything to me because when he said it, right, I was so shocked, right. And I just, I would just sit down there and listen and never say a word. They go, well, they a murder charge. Mur it's not to say he's accused, you know. 
or the investigating is on a merger charge and is on bail. <laughs> How can it be the merger charge and be on bail? Of course, I know you can just tell what in England here, people kill people, go to prison, and they come back out and they are rude. And do, this, and do the same thing again. Yeah, but, but you must realize that life, life in this country means like 10, 10, 10 yeah, 15 yeah, years yeah, or even yeah, less sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You know, life doesn't mean life, that. Life, life should mean life. Yeah. And so much, as I said, so much, what is people? The same people out there blaming government and saying government are not the same and not, not doing enough. What the same mm -hmm. people who know who, 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 who know who these criminals are and won't say anything. Mm -hmm. Some of the time I can understand why they don't. 